Sorry, Lee. There you go. I think we are in round three of the round robin here, folks. We got Chaos versus Protagonist. Protagonist is a fairly new team to dodgeball. They've been playing a lot of pickup. They are from the Richmond area. And then we got Chaos, which I'm pretty sure is Cleveland Chaos. Yes, they are representing Cleveland Chaos. Uh, we have a mixture of people. Um, from the Midwest, uh, a few people from um, the state of California. Um, it's a group of mix of, of people who are currently playing within the NCBA, as well as you know former players as well, who are very happy and excited um, to get this opportunity to play in this new format. Yeah, you can tell every this this pace of play is a lot quicker than most games. You got a lot of throws coming left and right. If you're new to the game, you got to keep your head on the swivel, folks. You really do. Oh there my go. God! And right on time, we got a headshot. Put it on the board, folks. You you just call that Fisher like <laughs> you literally said head on a swivel, and then immediately my man got clapped until next week. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. The, Oof! The cloud team. goes down. One play left to beat, and that's all she wrote. The protagonists are very, very new to dodgeball. They mostly play uh, medic-style dodgeball with foam, but they are giving it a go here with pinch rubber in their first tournament ever. And um, you know, Eric, you know, you you've been around. You know, I wouldn't necessarily say it around the block, but you definitely been around the United States. Um, you know, playing many, many different styles of dodgeball, um, from foam to no stain to 8.5. You know, now you're back in rubber, man. Like, how does the 8.5 rubber style dodgeball very different from, like, you know, your normal rec league or medic? I think it's uh, more you can, you can tell the difference a lot more with people who have played a lot longer. You better have court awareness if you're going to have anything. Even if you can't catch, throw, you better have court awareness out here. You better be able to see on your peripherals that we saw earlier in this match. This play style is, I think, perfect for pinch 8.5. It gives you room to breathe. It's not as big as the NCDA court. There's a lot of running up and down. I am old. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this, I, I, I think this is the best because it eliminates the, this team has uh, more balls, so they're going to come up and give their throw. And then it's just a switch back and forth, almost like tennis. Right. This, it's, it's you're on offense and defense at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, because the difference, you know, with uh, the NCDA is 12 on 12. Um, and, you know, there's 10 balls in the court. So, obviously, you know, if, you know, playing on a, you know, standard, you know, NCAA basketball court, you know, 94 feet long, 50 feet wide, really, really big. You know, this setting is a little bit different. Uh, I, I forgot the dimensions yeah. off the top of my head, so my apologies. But you can feel like it's – because it's smaller, it plays at a much faster pace. Yeah, this is 70 by 40, so it's a little bit shorter. Throw line's a little bit closer. The neutral zone's a lot more impact. There's not a, a lot of area to roam around as you would norm, as most NCAA players are used to, but it gives you room. This is also eight on eight, eight dodgeballs out there. If you guys are new watching this for the first time, this is the second tournament in NDA's history, short history, and I think it's going pretty well. Everybody has adapted pretty well to the rules, any changes that they're used to, and it's been running pretty smoothly. Even teams that are new to the game are stepping up and helping ref it. I oh. think that, that shows how how easy and this league has made it. It's just, uh, 
welcoming to new people to dodgeball as well. Absolutely, I, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. Um, yeah, first tournament was I want to say last month um, in East Lansing, Michigan. Um, yes. Oof. Yeah, that's a kill right there. Yeah, that was in East Lansing, Michigan. Um, and so this tournament, um, we're in the you know the DMV region. Um, you know, technically we're not in DC, but they keep, the, they keep telling me we're in DC, but apparently we're at Maryland University. We, so I don't know what's going on now. Hey, man, it's. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand what's going on. Woo! <laughs> A little Penn State yeah. action right there. Oh, we got a buzzsaw. We got a yo cloud. Relax. We have, we have got an arm on the court. Relax, cloud. Relax. That is a gentleman from Penn State helping out the young squad from Richmond. Yes. And you can tell when someone gets going, they get going out here. Man, I didn't think Cloud would go after his old teammate like that in such a vicious manner. A little Ninny Lyland action right there taking place. Yeah, Kalau is um, is one of the captains for um, Penn State. Uh, his former teammate right there, Shaggy, you know, he graduated uh, with his graduate degree. So, but don't look now, folks. It's 1v1 with the game being tied a piece. And, ooh, that's a good catch. Yeah, I think the, the squad from Richmond is catching on fairly quick. Um, you have to, man. Otherwise, you saw what happened earlier. Not having your head on a swivel, you're going to get clapped really, really fast. So you can just see the um, the, the knowledge that the difference in team chemistry. You have a, a player who's controlling the front, and someone from behind him throws. It's just the inexperience you're going to get out here, especially if you're new to the sport. Um, you're going to see a lot of the better teams can know how to control the court and the flow of the tempo, and. Um, we're just seeing a team learn on the fly pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much what it is. You know, Richmond protagonist is mostly players, again, you know, from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, we got a couple of people uh, who have some experience with the NCDA, so they're not novice out here. So, you know, and other players, you know, they pick it up pretty well. Yeah, and the, the other gentleman that has played NCAA, his name is TJ. He is the captain of the protagonist. He is a former VCU player. Ooh, that's a good kill by TJ. And speak of the devil, comes Ooh. up with a, a clutch hit. Yeah. We, we have a lot of going back and forth here, a lot of strong throws. Ooh, and protection. Cloud goes down that exchange. We've got a confusion. Oh, wait. They, the ref has called him safe. I don't, I, I, I agreed with you, Shadid. I thought... Uh, yeah, I thought, I thought Cloud got hit because TJ missed the block. I agree. But... but um, that's why we're commentating and not refing, folks. Oh, that's not going to. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, so that's a weird situation right there because of the NCBA. That would be considered a team catch if he would have caught it since Ricochet off of TJ. However, he, the person who got hit first, he needed to make that catch because TJ could not save him because um, team catching from this game doesn't necessarily count. And what I mean by that is you don't get a player in, but – you know, no one is out either. Everybody is basically safe. Right. It's another strong hit. Um, this Richmond squad is bringing the heat. Yeah. I think they're getting uh, – I think um, a lot of people thought they were new. Ooh. Oh, another big kill by TJ. Man, he got that little spin, you know. Obviously, he's, you know, going to load it up and whatnot. But that little bit of spin at the end just gave himself an opportunity – don't look now, but oh lord! Oh, what a miss! You gotta yeah, hit him. You you gotta hit. Okay, so, all right. So Matt Gonzalez is out. One play left to be. Matt Bernard, number seventeen, representing the Broncos. He's caught in no man's land here. But oh, big he's catch. a great catcher, though. That's why he's not scared. Oh, and Cloud goes hit. down. And don't look now, but Matt, we got number it. seventeen from the. West Michigan University is cooking. Let my man cook, y'all. He said Cleveland, stand up. This is be Cleveland. Believe land, folks. And just like that, he got his teammate Shaggy back in. And it's TJ and another play from Richmond left. We do not have a jersey. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any <laughs> rosters here. Ooh, a big hit by TJ. Dang, Matt. You hate to see it, 
He reached. I teach. One play left to beat Shaggy. All right. Let's see if the team throw about to come up. Team throw. Oh, he's safe. What a dodge there. He's got some dexterity, folks. Oh, Shaggy is very elusive. He's very, very difficult to hit. And he's very flexible, just as you mentioned. But like I said, it's an area. Oh, oh what a hit. TJ. A solid strike. Wow. And we have a upset brewing here, folks. Wow. The protagonists are now up two to one. I'm pretty sure our clock is right. Just under three minutes left. I think so, yeah. Let's see. There hasn't much, been much stoppage. There's just been pure dodgeball. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, and, and then also another thing, too, about this particular uh, format that I really enjoy is a continuous running clock. So that yeah. means every single match matters. Yep. There is no, hey, let me take a timeout. Let me get a breather. Like, no. For 13 minutes, Big it's all catch right there at the start. It was getting a little chaotic, but chaos has kind of come under control, unironically. Um, but, yes, for the round robin, it is a continuous 13-minute clock just to make sure we stay on schedule. Yep. I do think the time limit will be a little different come playoff time. Yeah, I, I think so, too. Tournament, yep. tournament time just to Oof. make sure that is a strong throw from chaos. There. My goodness, 43, just literally just, you know, as they say in the community, clock it lock it <laughs> and he he threw that ball with bad intentions really bad intentions that's a drop catch for number 74 he definitely had it he just he just couldn't corral it you, you do see that sometimes coming up we got a an exchange here both players are safe it's always the the throw the hard throw that comes up someone comes up with a catch and, that, then, and then the one that you can see the whole way. Jeez, he's fast. Just sneaks away. We've got zero got number zero for chaos speed. running people down. I I know. His his speed is a factor, especially on this small court right here. Like, if you can like transition. Got a from little deep. confusion. It does look like our guy out here was out of bounds. Yeah. And was unaware. We are playing pink line, and that is quickly the game. Yeah, and just like that, we've yeah. got a 2-2 two, two tie here, and we will have ties in the round robin. Yeah, that's um, totally fine. I think they're going to try to start a game up here real quick. Yeah. Just to get the game going, see if it, someone can close out the point. It looks like chaos is ready. They're going to try to run down this uh, Richmond team. They're going to try. And get a win here. I, I'm pretty sure we're on time. I don't know if it's more. It doesn't. They're trying to get this. We're going to see a quick game here, folks. Yeah, all gas, no breaks. It has to, for a point to ha uh, happen, you have to eliminate the entire team. I don't think that's going to happen, Fisher. I'm trying to get a, I, I can't hear. There is a clock. That is game, folks, so that we were right on time. Both teams tried to push that last point, but it does look like we are going to end in a tie. Great job by Richmond protagonist. Really I, just. That has got to be a win in their books. That is a, that is a win. I mean, because I think they was picked last. Yeah. they. Um, when you're not new, when you don't really have any experience, this is your first tournament for, I would say, 80% of the team. Yeah. A tie against a NCDA, current NCAA players. It's got to be a win in in, uh, in their eyes. They've got to keep adding on. They they have it there, folks. I keep saying folks. I'm going to try to broaden my uh, vocabulary here the next time I step on the mic. Uh, I'll try to help you out as best <laughs> I can, Fisher. I appreciate your help. Girl, don't be complacent You better take time uh.